Oh, right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we would discuss the recent update with the camouflage controversy and the new add on armor in the modifications. So, first, we're going to touch on the add on armor. And. What you see in front of you is the Panzer IV H and I've selected this vehicle to use as a demonstration because it's a pretty good example of how this add-on armor can work. Now the vehicles that this will be available for will be the T-34 1941 and the 1942 the T-34-85 ZIS-53, um, the Sherman Firefly, the Churchill Mark 7, the M-4A-3E-8 76W, the M-4A-1 76W, the Panthers, the A, D, and G models, and the Panzer IV Oust H. Here. Now, I really like the armor upgrade option. And the reason that I like it is because it's researchable. Right here, you can see um, that this is able to be researched through the regular research process. So let's hop out of this and take a look at the Panzer IV H here. You can see that standard it comes with a set of extra track here on the lower glacis and a set here on the upper glacis. It also has some here on the back but we're not really concerned about that. Let's look at the armor. So this is your standard thickness of 80 millimeters. And the additional track adds an extra 15 millimeters to it. Here you have 80, 50 here on the front of the turret. So let's turn this off for a minute. Let's hop into modifications. And once you research your add-on armor, look at all the additional um, tank tracks that you get added to this vehicle. Here you have another set right here across the upper glacis. You have two pieces here, one piece over the driver's vision port, two pieces on either side of the machine gun port. You have four, three on the face with one just folding over the top of the turret on either side of the turret here on those flat sections of, of armor. So this is a nice addition to the armor profile of the Panzer IV H. Now, when you research this, you do not get to choose your placement of these add-on armor or the, the tank tracks is what it is. You don't get to choose your placement. That would be too complicated for the hit calculator with everybody putting armor all different places over the vehicle. You, it comes set in predetermined locations. It's either on or off as far as I can tell. But you can see the amount of extra armor that you get here on the front of the Panzer IV H. So Gaijin gets a big thumbs up from me for the extra armor um, research. So now let's uh, tackle the camouflage controversy. So here we have um, the Nash Horn, which we will have a video coming out on it pretty soon. Um, let's go in to custom, well, customization. Okay, so we 
all of our stuff has been shifted to the right. If you hadn't noticed, it used to be over here on the left. Now it's over here on the right. We still have our decal slots right here. But what we have extra is the decorator slots. So this is the camouflage. But let's start here. You can purchase these uh, animal skulls for... 500 golden eagles and just to tell you right off the bat I was very very disappointed that the camouflage had to be purchased and we'll get into that a little later but you can purchase a skull and you can also rotate it And you can just have a skull on your vehicle if you want to. These are more um, personality um, options here. Let's hop back in here, minimize the skulls. There's road signs. So you have all these different road signs, no parking here. I like this one here. Let's put do not enter right back here so we don't get any surprise buck sex. Uh, that's off limit. I have a do not enter sign here, so no more surprise butt sex for me. I don't think that's actually going to work, but hey, it's a nice try. So we have road signs. We also have um, roundels and insignia, the iron cross, the white star, the red star. And we have the other options here now these two have to be purchased but I believe that these can be um, earned not necessarily researched but earned through um, achieving a certain number of kills in a certain vehicle or uh, the gas mask you kill so many um, missions one stuff like that these items here can be earned but the the controversy comes here with the camouflage now they recently um raised the price of it when it came out the other day they were 500 golden eagles a piece or a pack and each pack has six applications and I thought that was ridiculous and now um, there are a thousand or two thousand golden eagles yeah I, I can't say anything else about that but the question is 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 this pay to win and I'm not quite sure yet. I've been studying the camouflage um, quite a bit. And it will have its advantages. Uh, I'm going to have to say that it will have. But it may not be as big of an advantage as some people might think it is. And we'll demonstrate that a little later. But this is how it works. You pick a bunch of camouflage and stick it on your vehicle. So, just like that. Now, when you're placing the camouflage, you cannot place uh, the camouflage over anything um, like vision porch. You see here you get red. Anything where you're on the gun, you can't place it there. It won't let you place it on the fender wells for some reason. I find that very odd. They think it's going to uh, interfere with the track. But any of these other surfaces, as long as you're not placing it, see here you put it up here, it says it's going to affect the siding. So it won't let you do that. But you can put this stuff pretty much all over. But I believe that the camouflage needs to be applied 
um, correctly. So let's go over that a little bit before. Now, I was in the military for nine and a half years and I did spend six years um, on an M2 Bradley and I applied a lot of cam camouflage to that Bradley on numerous occasions. Um, I do have to say that all we did was hop out with the, the loppers and the axe and just a little sweat and we got as much camouflage as we needed. Um, didn't cost us anything. Um, just figure out how to mount it to the vehicle. And just like it is here, you didn't mount it where it would obstruct the vision or interfere with the operations of the vehicle. But what you wanted to do when you were mounting the camouflage is break up the hard lines of the vehicle. So, as you can see here, I'm going to put it against the sky. These hard lines that the vehicle creates here, you don't really find those in nature. And that's what you wanted to break up when you were applying camouflage. So let's get uh, a bunch of fir branches. Okay, so let me rotate this. So by placing the camouflage here on the side and letting some of it come up over the top here, I have broken up the outline, the edge of the vehicle and the top of the vehicle here. Let's grab another one. Place that one there. That doesn't look too bad. And we're gonna go for a Use the same type of fur because I like consistency. I'm going to do this right here. Break up more of the top. There we go. That didn't look too bad. Cover up the larger section here. And we're gonna go back for the wider one. And stick it right down there. So, what we've done is we've broken up the hard outline of the vehicle and in my um, semi educated opinion that is the correct way to apply camouflage now is it as important here in War Thunder probably not so if you're grabbing camouflage and just like sticking it on here and here and here If you are just throwing your camouflage like on the face of the vehicle like this, you haven't broken up that outline, that hard edges that can give you away. So we're going to see if it makes a difference. We're going to look at some stuff here in a few minutes. But back to how the camouflage performs in the game. The game is set to where as you get further away for, from stuff, 
the detail, the rendering of the detail decreases. So if you're looking at a hillside with a bunch of bushes on it, and you start backing away from that hillside, the bushes become less and less obvious. And that's bushes on the landscape itself. Well, the same thing happens to the camouflage that you place on your tank. As you get further away from it, the less and less of it can be seen. So that means that if you're parked up on a hill and somebody's coming by and they're, I don't know, half a kilometer or so away from you, they may see just your tank and not any of the camouflage that you have on your tank. So that decreases the effectiveness effectiveness it makes it more of a decoration now then on the other side of that coin if you have positioned your vehicle correctly and you're amongst some other trees or something and somebody is driving by and they're going oh i'm not sure if that's a tank so they hop into binocular mode which gives them a more zoomed in image of the vehicle then they will see the camouflage because it's zoomed in it's that distance view that it's not rendering so if somebody is checking to verify what they think might be a tank and they're zoomed in on it they're going to see the camouflage they're looking at it off from a distance they're not going to see it as much so I, I really can't be as sure as to how much this camouflage is going to help now for me personally it's not going to help me at all because I'm going to have a big red uh, marker over the top of my tank that says angry nerd because I play an arcade and it doesn't matter how much camouflage I put on my vehicle you're still gonna see that big red marker so but for realistic and simulator I'm not sure how that's gonna how that's really gonna affect because of the rendering of the bushes so anyway um, why don't we take a look at the Nash horn here on um, the map Kuban in some different positions, zoomed in, zoomed out, uh, leaving the markers on and off, and see exactly how this camouflage is going to look close up and far away and compare and you can make up your own mind as to um, whether you think the camouflage will um, help I think it will help some uh, I'm not gonna say that oh it's purely a decoration but I do think it will help some but I believe the view has to be pretty close and uh, if if you're that close you you're probably dead already so Anyway, um, yeah, let me uh, know down in the comments what, what you think. And uh, why don't we take a look at these views and we'll discuss them a little bit when we come back. Here we go. Okay, so here we are on Kuban in the Nashorn. And I have my camouflage applied. And I've left the markers on so we can look at the distance away. You can see that the camouflage on the tank is starting to disappear we're at 0.5 and the further we get away the less the camouflage that we can see so 
so 0.15 kilometers um, you can see the tank pretty well so let's zoom back in and you can see the camouflage again back out you can slowly start seeing it disappear once again now that was actual distance that we were pulling back with the camera and the second view was just zoom in with the camera so you could see that in the zoomed in view you could see the foliage okay so in this view we're going to take a look at the nash horn with no camouflage now i don't know if you can see it it's right in the center of the screen a little closer look let me help you out just a little bit there it is okay let's get just a little bit closer Now I've parked it in the shade, doesn't have any camouflage on, but there's a bush kind of covering the right or the left front track, but it's bare. Now we're going to take a look at the Nash horn in the same position with camouflage applied. So there is like a little sweet spot where it helps far away not as much getting closer yes when you're this close obviously you can tell that it's a tank okay we got one last position of can we find the tank destroyer so it's right there in the center of the image let's zoom in Now, I thought that the camouflage was more effective here because the vehicle was positioned correctly. Um, it's hold down, you can't see. You have um, a little bit of dark hill behind the vehicle. So it even enhances the effect a little bit. But the camouflage still disappears slightly. Now we're pulling the camera in, not zooming, but pulling the entire camera in and taking a look. All right camouflage is on it let's back off just so slightly the camouflage is fading but the vehicle is more correctly positioned so it's not as easy to see and I backed up with the tree in the way so let me fix that okay so the next question is how about the difference between camouflage applied correctly and, in my opinion, incorrectly? Let's take a look at that. Okay, so here, the same position, but the camouflage is not breaking up the outside outline of the vehicle. So, 
although the camouflage does help, it doesn't help quite as much. The vehicle's in the exact same position as the last clip that we just looked at, but the camouflage is not breaking up the hard edges of the vehicle. Okay, so now that we've been out in the field and taken a look at the vehicle, um, my personal opinion is I think it does help some. Uh, there is, in my opinion, a little sweet spot where the camouflage is effective. Far away, not so much. Up close, it's still obvious that there's a vehicle, but there's a sweet spot and really you're you're really close to the vehicle um anyway and you probably have gotten shot well before then so um but there is a slight advantage and because i believe that there's a slight advantage i really do not like the fact that it's uh that you have to purchase um these bushes or camouflage to apply to your vehicle. I think that they should be earned um, or researched if it's going to be an option. Now, I do like that option. I like to be able to customize my vehicle. Um, skulls, road signs, all that cosmetic stuff. Hey, if Gadget wants to make us pay for that, I don't care. It's not giving anybody any advantage um, but I think this may give a slight advantage not as much as people were initially thinking but any advantage at all and I think it needs to be researchable and not pay so that's the nerds opinion I'm going to leave it at that um, let me know what you think down in the comments now that we've taken a look at it and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. If you've liked this video on the recent update hit that like button. If you didn't don't subscribe if you would it really helps the channel but as always thanks for watching. Nerd out.